All right, this is kind of a uh, a tricky camp battle video, but we back Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And I say it's tricky because you have multiple guys um, in the linebacker court that all can play the middle spot. Um, Christian Jones, Kennard can play it. Um, Davis probably can play outside as well. Talani can play outside, inside. But I'm gonna hone in on these two guys because I don't think it's a. I don't think they brought Talani. Uh, hopefully, I'm saying his name Talani. I don't think they brought him in to to play outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I know he can put his hand in the dirt. He can rush. He can rush. You know, off the edge or from the linebacker spot. He can rush from the middle. I don't think you spend a. What well, did they spend a second round draft pick on him for no reason? Because Jerry Davis is not the the, the linebacker that that typically plays in Patricia defense. Those are like the Vrabels, the Teddy Brewskis. You did have a guy that was similar to, to him as far as in Twitch, fast twitch and in Jamie Collins, which the Lions could have brought in, which ended up going back to New England after he got cut from Cleveland back over there. But he was much taller than, uh, I think he was much taller than, or a few inches taller than Davis. But Talani is more of a New England style type of linebacker, especially middle linebacker, thick. Um, um, he a thumper. He got the size. He don't necessarily need to run 4-4-4-5 four, 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 uh, because the system will make sure he always in a position to be successful. And that's what you got from New England, from what you got in New England. You know, you had those down the hill Type of linebackers that like to thump. And Davis, he's small. He, he always, you know, falling at somebody's shoelaces. And even when and, and he's a, a weakness in coverage. So I think this might be a silent battle or an unofficial battle um, that may go into the, uh, you know, through training camp and it may go through the season and they may give the position to Davis, but you may see Jelani have equal snaps or eventually take over the middle linebacker position because. I don't think you take a guy in the second round, you don't have any intent on him to, to play uh, major snaps. And I think you look at Christian Jones, you know, he ain't on the field a ton of the times. It don't seem to be because nine times out of ten, most of, most of these were, I think, 70% uh, of the time last year, just using him as an example, the Los Angeles Rams, they was uh, in three receiver set in some, in some type of way. They had three receivers on the field. And that's what the, the the NFL is going to now is to, you know, uh, three receiver sets, meaning you probably, you know, nine times out of ten, you want to be in nickel coverage, that extra DB out there um, covering. And, you know, he don't get a ton of shine. And Kennard, I mean, Kennard can put his hand in the dirt. He can rush in the nickel package or he can stand up in the in the linebacker package. He can stand up if they're in the nickel too and play the middle. But really, Davis – you know, the writing's on the wall for Davis, in my opinion. He don't fit this defense. He ain't a thumper. He he just, he he don't, he plays sideline to sideline, but he don't make tackles. Remember, he lost Zeke on that real route, wheel route that sold the game up for Dallas last year. And I think Patricia needing a linebacker that 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 fit the mold. And I think this could be a, a, a unofficial battle. I think, uh, you know, Talani has some injuries with his shoulder coming out of college. Um, if he can stay healthy, at some point in the season, I expect to see him take over that spot. I understand it's all, all of them could be interchangeables. He can play the outside. He can play the inside. He can put his hand in his dirt if, if need be. But in my opinion, in my opinion, I think they drafted him to take over the Davis spot because they losing faith in Davis like we are. He ain't getting it. All that speed and quickness, he not he not learning how, how to cover he not learning how to get the edge, how to use his hands when he get those running backs coming on those Texas routes or those option routes. He not he not getting no better or drastically better. He not getting drastically better, and I think Tavadi fixed that spot. What's so funny about it is when they got rid of Kyle Van Noy, they, he would have been a perfect fit for Patricia defense. Obviously, you've seen that in New England, him winning two Super Bowls over there with Bill Belichick one last year. He'd been perfect. And it's all about system fit. If you're not, if you don't get, if you don't fit a system, you get marginalized in the NFL, just like Chris Carter said. So the NFL is about system fit. Now you got some guys that can fit multiple systems. 
You got some guys that only fit one system, you know, but I, I expect this to be an unofficial battle. I expect them to, to give, give it to Davis as long as there's no injuries. Um, and But then in the season, I expect Tabati to take over as a full-time middle linebacker. That's just what I see. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. You know, they could go into more 3-4 with two middle linebackers and two outside guys. But I got a feeling that Tabati's going to take over at middle linebacker at some point in the season. I got the same feeling I got about Brandon Pollard and Amendola. Different reason is that Amendola's going to get injured. It's, it's usual. But, hey, training camp battles. Appreciate everybody for checking in. I'll do a draft blast before the weekend is up as well. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out our playlist as well. Categorize our content. And, um, yeah, don't forget social media links there. You know, all that stuff, man. Appreciate the love, support, Motor Street Sports Talk. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.